Chapter 6 We hear a tap on my side of the window, causing us both to jump from our seats. He rolls the window back down. Please don't let it be who I think it is. When I see Camille, I feel my cheeks flush, literally, I can feel the blood drain from my cheeks as I take sight of her. Oh no. This can't be happening. What is she doing here? She does not know when to stay put. I glance at Chris who is confused to be seeing a woman standing in front of him. His eyes move to me, scowling, and I know he's trying to tell me who is this person by eyeing me. This is my friend, Camille, I say. I look towards Camille, telling her to get out of here. But she doesn't and moves her hand across from me to shake his. Hi Chris, she smiles towards him, then at me. Oh great. She said his name and now he knows that I talked about him. That's just fucking great. I move my back further to the seat as he puts his hand out to shake hers. Hi Camille, he says. So, what are your intentions with my girl? She asks, nosily. She looks back and forth between me and Chris. I give her a scowling look to stay out of it, and she rolls her eyes at me. Chris scans from Camille, and then to me. I give him an apologetic smile. I'm going to take her home. She smiles. I realize that. I mean afterward. She tilts her head. I mouth her to shut up and she sticks her tongue out at me, like a child. Chris gazes toward me and I try to give him a warm smile, but it comes out more unconvincing than anything else. Well, I can't really do anything about this predicament I'm in. I want to sink into this car seat and hide. Why do you do this to me, Camille? I and Sashiana are, we're F friends, he stumbles through the words. Friends. I just assumed we were. Well, I didn't even know what we were. I figured we were study buddies because I thought that all we were doing is studying together. I didn't think he wanted to be my friend. Really? She looks at him then at me. Sushiana told me you're study buddies. I was going to speak, until Chris looks at me and says, I guess you could call us that, but I'll like to think we're friends. Friends helping another friend out, he smiles. Camille gives Chris a quizzical look. So, you're friends with her, then? She asks. Can she be any more nosy? Yes, she can, she'll keep asking questions until she gets answers. That's who she is. I turn to Chris and I can see he's getting annoyed with Camille like I am. Part of me wants to get out of this car and drag her ass back to the store and lock her in the break room, that way she won't come out. But the other part of me is thankful that she's here and looking after me. However, I'm really getting irritated with her right now. Yes, we're friends, he says, darkly. Okay, you treat her right then. You hear me, she tells him, harshly. Oh, I'll treat her good. I look at Camille and notice her smile becomes enraged when she narrows her eyes toward Chris. What did he do? I turn to Chris and he has an evil grin. What? What are they thinking between the two of them? Please let this stop. Please let this stop. And like someone in the heavens was hearing my prayers, finally, Camille looks at me to see if I'll be okay alone. I nod to her. Okay then. See you tomorrow, Sashiana. I'm thankful she is finally leaving. Okay, see you tomorrow. She cocks her head to the side and looks at me making sure one more time that I'm alright. I nod once more, then she glances at Chris and gives him a dirty look as she turns away. Oh, thank goodness she went because I felt awkward being in the middle of them. Well, she's. I finish his sentence, intense. Yeah. Sorry about her, she's just. He interrupts. Watching out for you. I nod in agreement. Yup, that's what she does, she doesn't let anyone mess with her or me. I'm thankful to have her as a friend. Now are you ready to go, he laughs. I laugh along with him. Yes, let's go. Before Camille comes and beats your ass, I want to say, but I decided to keep that comment to myself. I thought Camille was going to fly across from me to get to Chris when she gave him that look. I was relieved she didn't do it. What was that about anyway? Where do you live? He asks. I live in a mobile home park, 
I tell him and give the address when we take off. The drive is silent all the way to my place. Well, with the way he drives it doesn't take long and we finally arrived. 